And the uh, older one said to the Al Hatsi'ira, the younger one. Now, let's switch, because you mentioned Rachel and Leah, who also get referred to, and I, I, in the English, it may very well say the younger and the older, but go and listen carefully. So in Hebrew here, the two words are Bichira for the eldest and Si'ira for the youngest. Well, Rachel and Leah, you have two sisters. One is the oldest and one is the youngest. Let's hear Let's how they're referred. Let's take a look at that. Well, we go over to chapter 29 of Genesis, and we take a look at uh, verse 16. Laban had two daughters. The name of the older one was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. So in the English, you're not, you, as far as you know in English, you have two older sisters and two younger sisters. But and not so, in the Hebrew. Will you so, be surprised uh, to hear? Please, please pay attention, um, everybody, and, um, and TCT, pay attention. This is why everyone needs a rabbi, right? This is why our show here is something so close to our hearts, because we really are able to add value to your life. We're able to add value to your understanding of Scripture. Uh, and please, just make a note of these two sections, right? Chapter 19 of Genesis and chapter 29 of Genesis. In chapter 19, we're talking about the two daughters of Lot, who don't have names, that we're not told the names, and that's significant. And in chapter 29, Lavan, Laban, has two daughters who later on marry Jacob. And, uh, and these two are now contrasted because most English translations say older and younger for both examples. We're now going to show you that that is not correct, and we're going to tell you why. In the case of Lot's daughters, the word for the younger is the word tsira. And I know you probably don't know Hebrew yet, but I want you to listen to the sounds, the consonant sounds, not worrying about the vowel. The two consonant sounds are tz and r. Or if you, if you like, you could say three consonant sounds, T-S-R. Tsar, tsira, tsira. Those are the, the three sounds we're going to be paying attention to. I, I'm sorry, I'm going to be a, a, a persnickety here, but the T in Hebrew, the TS, tz or tz is one sound, so it really is two sounds a tz and a r. It's not three. It's one letter in Hebrew. The tz sound uh, in English, it's hard to transliterate without using a TS or a TZ. But the sound, as Susan says in Hebrew, is actually one letter. So the, uh, the, the actual word being used for the younger in the case of Lot's daughters is a Tsar sound. All right? Now let's go and take a look and see what word is used to describe Leah and Rachel in, verse, uh, in chapter 29, verse 16. Lavan had two daughters. The name of the older one was Leah, and that's okay. We're not going to spend time on that. And the name of the younger one was Rachel. But now let's take a look at what the word used in the Hebrew is for the younger. And uh, you are now expecting the same TSR sound or TZR sound, aren't you? Because why should it be any different? Well, it's very different. And here it is. V'shem ha-ketana Rachel. The name of the ketana was Rachel. And, uh, and so Hebrew now gives us two words that can be used to designate the Judea sister. Tsar and Katan. We're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna make, let's make the pot even stickier. That's main, that's no, not a right No, metaphor, not a metaphor. But let's what, mix it up. Let's mix, <laughs> let's get a little more complicated here, which is, so we've now seen that the, the tsar sound for the tsi'ira, for the youngest daughter of Laban, seems to be important because we could have used, the God could have used another word. Well, what would you say, do you remember when I said if strawberries were mentioned lots and lots and lots of times in one area? Well, it so happens that when we're told the city's name to which they fled, and guess what that is? So are. Again, the root of that is that it was exact same two Hebrew letters, the one with the TZ sound and the one with the R. So the Tzira and her family flee to Tzoar. 
So the general rule is to help you is ignore vowels in Hebrew and focus on the consonants. So Lot's younger daughter was the Tzira, there you've got the Tzir sound, and the city to which they fled was Tzor, the same Tzir. R sound, and, and you'll see it in uh, chapter 19, the same chapter, verse 22. And now that you know the name of this city, I want to actually read uh, a few verses. Uh, here we go. Hurry, flee there, for I cannot do a thing until you arrive there. He therefore called the name of the city Tsoar. And the sun rose upon the earth, and Lot arrived in Tsoar. That's verse 23. And then in verse 30, Lot went up from Tsoar and sat on the mountains, and his two daughters with him, for he was afraid to remain in Tsoar. And he dwelt in a Cave. There are more uses of the TZR sound in this section of the Torah than in anywhere else in the five books of Moses. And it could have always, I mean, there's a, the name of the city repeats, as you heard, over and over, which it didn't have to. And if it's not important or if it's minorly important, mention it once. But why do you have to, they're there already. Why do you have to say, that's where they were again and again and again. So we're being forced into a recognition that this Hebrew root, the tz and the r root, has something to do with the entire situation.